In this video, we are talking about communication, specifically how radio waves and microwaves are used. The wave used to carry a signal is called a carrier wave. The type of wave used actually depends on two things, the amount of information the signal is to carry and the distance the signal is to travel. Now what we must remember is the shorter the wavelength, the more information the wave can carry, the shorter their range and the less they spread out. This means that microwaves carry more information for shorter range and spread out less than radio waves, whereas radio waves carry less information, have a longer range and spread out more. So because of this, microwaves are used for satellite phones, satellite TV and TV links. This is because they can travel through the atmosphere and spread out less. So let's have a look at radio waves. There are three radio wave bands you must know. Radio waves less than one meter, radio waves between 100 meters and one meter, and radio waves with a wavelength greater than 100 meters. Each radio band is used for a different purpose. For radio waves with a wavelength of less than one meter, it is used for TV broadcasting as they can transmit more information than the longer wavelength radio waves. Between 100 meters and one meter, local radio stations and emergency services use this band as their range is limited to the local area and with radio waves of greater than 100 meters, well this has the largest range so it is used for national and international radio. Right, time for a quiz. Which part of the electromagnetic spectrum is used to communicate with satellites and why? What two things determine the type of carrier wave used? What wavelength can carry the most information, short or long wavelengths? Which radio wave has the longest range, short or long wavelength? What wavelength radio wave is used for TV signals? What are radio waves with a wavelength between 1 meter and 100 meters used for and why? One last thing, although we've been talking about microwaves and radio waves, infrared is also used for communication. It is used to transmit information along optical fibres. Optical fibres are very long, thin pieces of glass fibre and are used to transmit signals carried by light or infrared. The light or infrared cannot escape and when it reaches the fibre surface it is reflected back into the fibre. Infrared radiation can carry more information than radio waves. Why do you think this is? Optical fibres are also more secure than radio waves. Again, why do you think this is?